Okay, and we're back, everybody. We're continuing Unova Red here. So, looks like we just, just, we still just have, like, a last push to make for evolving all the Pokemon here. So we're gonna get right back into it. We've come this close, so let's just finish it off. Embors are about to be done anyway. No, I didn't get another crash again during Resident Evil. It all worked out. I just wrapped that up pretty well. This playthrough really does show me how, like, uh, all the stuff they added in future games with, like, rematches and all that stuff really was a very good idea. Gen 1 really did, did lack a lot of stuff when you think about it. Just having the Versus Seeker in uh, Fire and Leaf Green was huge, wasn't it? Alright, let's switch you out. Let's get through it. Confusion. Alright, Flamethrower. You know what would be a good idea, chat? Since we're literally at this part of the game, I probably should just turn battle animations off. That might be, like, the best idea if we're just, like, getting levels now. Yeah, I decided to spend today uh, trying to finish some games up. We finished Resident Evil 4 again. Uh, hang on. Shindo Chandelure. And now we're seeing if I can wrap this up. Animation's really not needed anymore, yeah. And now we gotta deal with the confusion. Confuse no more, good. This thing can't even hurt me no more. The level ups do a lot, chat. Okay, not quite. Alamomola. Okay, send out Peg Knight. Then we send out Hydragon. This is how kids back in the day had to complete their Pokedex, and we're gonna enjoy it in all its uh, wonderful glory. You're right, it missed. We're not having that glitch activating again. Okay. Yeah, late stream today because I slept in. Like, uh, I was catching up on my sleep I took yesterday off. I felt pretty darn good this morning. Although I hate when my day starts so late, but it just really showed how bad my sleeping got. The weather's kind of cozy today, though, chat. Um, we had a snowstorm the other night. And... Hang on a second. Pig is at the top. We, yeah, we had a snowstorm the other night, and now it's raining out, so it's kind of just like a kind of a stormy mess outside. By the time the rain is done, it's gonna be it's gonna be like bad to go out walking around, but you know. Yeah, no one really had a, a link cable back in the day. It felt like at least it felt like that for me. Nobody really did. There we go. Even during the Game Boy Advance era, I never really got to do that. It was mostly when the DS, like, had the built-in wireless that trading became, like, more of a thing I actually used. It didn't help that, um, during the Game Boy Advance era, Dylan also, like, uh, for his Game Boy Advance, he broke the link cable port on his. So even if we could borrow one from someone else, like, we, we couldn't use it. Because he broke his damn thing. Yeah, it was cool. Only one level on Peg Knight, but that's fine. The, star the final starter evos are one of the harder things to get done out of the way. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good today. I figured we could do a little cozy stream today, and tomorrow I was probably going to continue some more Stardew Valley. That was good. Oh, hang on. Did I see this one yet, Koda? Let me see. Open that up. Oh yeah, you did show me that. The cool dragon art. There we go. Chandelure. Discord really compressed the image quality when I opened it there. And there's the one damage on that. Excellent. X defend. I don't gotta worry much about that. I forgot to turn the animation off. Ah, I knew I was forgetting something. 
I got distracted. It's fine. Chandelier grows tougher. Okay. I wonder. I know that, like, Japan had tournaments for competitive Pokemon back in the day for Gen 1. But did back then, did people know about, like, like, uh, like the IVs and, like, maximizing EVs? Especially since they're broken in Gen 1. I wonder if there was, like, one kid who had it all figured out. And he just, like, bodied every, like, tournament or something. That'd be really cool. Back is sore from sleeping. Yeah, I feel that. Welcome to being an adult. <laughs> Ugh, just got something on my shirt there. I didn't spill my drink, did I? I don't know what that is. Anyways, don't matter. Oops. I didn't need to send out Pig Knight again. It's already level 36. 36 is the level for this, right, chat? It better be. All right. Can start focusing on Blitzel and Dewat now. I think uh, Blitzel evolves level 27. 36 should be right, I hope. They knew about it, and there was even a child who didn't and was bodied in a tournament. Don't know if it was regional or a national one. Oh. Yeah, you let people enjoy something, they will show how to break it. Oh, I'm gonna level up Blitzel. Stuff like that is really interesting to hear about to me. There we go. I know that, like, um... There were early Japanese tournaments that used the original Pokémon Stadium. But the thing about the original Pokémon Stadium in Japan is that it was a different one that we got, and it didn't have all the Pokémon in, in it. There we go. So it was really limited. So I imagine back in the day, people were just resetting until they got, like, a good, perfect, like, Snorlax or something then, huh? You know, that might not be... Chat, what do you think about this idea? What if one day I did a playthrough of, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2 for the purpose of, of building a team for Pokemon Stadium? That could be fun one day. Because I've never really... I don't like using the rental Pokemon. I get so bored when I do that. There we go. I imagine as long as I use, like, a mod that lets me, like, evolve the trade evolutions and stuff, it should be, should be safe to, like, transfer over to Stadium. Stadium Gym Leader Tower, yeah. Just build, build a team of Pokemon in one playthrough specifically for that. Why? How could I lose? Alright, there we go. 124. In the decks. Had like 50 available mons. And my job is done. Go face your next challenge. There we go. Alright. 124 own chat. Let's get the rest. Can throw a fiery punch by setting its fist on fire with the blaze on its chin. Alright. Get Blitzel up there. Turn off animations. Yeah, you're right. I was forgetting again. That's right. Crystal, Crystal Clear is also compatible with Stadium 2, so that's not a bad idea to do to use that. Okay. All right. Let's get her done. Trying not to cough here. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that sometime. That'd be fun. Crystal clear playthrough to build stadium team. Could be fun. I'll send out you for crunching. Still worried about the. Um, I probably will have to mute the champion music every time I get there, which is kind of lame. 
It's just really annoying. Because I'm just intentionally losing that fight, because I don't want to go back to the credits and stuff. Alright, Coffin. Yeah, that would be more fun than a... a normal playthrough. I would say. Going through Crystal Clear just for the sake of building a team for Stadium 2's Gym Leader Castle. Then I get, like, even more content out of it. That sounds like fun. Well, Crystal Clear was made to be compatible with uh, Stadium 2, so you could transfer Pokemon over specifically for that reason. Or rather, use them for the stadiums and stuff. I'd have to, like, look up what's actually good for Stadium, though. I don't know what Pokemon are even considered good for that. Yeah, and it also shows you the DVs of Pokemon. That could be fun. Alright, let's stop getting paralyzed for the 10,000th time. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh, great. Gonna run out of crunch now. Now we deal with this. Oh wow, I got him. Okay, Blitzel's getting there. This is fine. I'll probably just burn a full restore on you. Swap out some more Pokemon. Yeah, Crystal Clear is the open world one. Hang on. Hydreigon. Look, Crystal Clear is so open, it's almost like a perfect game for role-playing, too. Uh, Hydreigon's here. If I could even, hang on. Do one of them roleplay streams, chat. Get super into it. Have my own lore. Oh, come on. Kill. Can I one crunch kill? Good. You're getting there, Blitzel. You're getting there. Golurk. What am I doing? I keep... I keep forgetting that it's at the top. Like, the team doesn't switch around mid-battle like it does in later gens. My brain is just used to seeing it like that. We're here for that sweet, sweet lore, chat. I thought you were all here for Lorelei. That and more videos on that. Lore and lies. That could be the name of my autobiography. <laughs> Someone's probably already made that joke somewhere. I guarantee you. I gotta look that up after. I don't know if Blitzel will have it after this battle, but we'll see. His sweet, sweet lore. <laughs> I just want to make sure I can kill this thing right quick. There we go. Jellison does look like it wants a hug, but we can't let it have hugs. It'll kill me. Alright, good. 24. Not close enough, though. I'll have to burn another full restore here. So we can get through the battle... I want to say Blitzel will get through this. I'm pretty sure it's 27 for Blitzel, someone said last stream. Yes, I do do chill variety streams, which is nice, but... By the way, chat, did you hear that, um... Apparently YouTube's changing up, like, the algorithm again? And they're doing it in a way that actually kind of, like, messes with people who do variety. Apparently, it's going to start, like, grouping people based on, like, themes in the rec before it recommends things. So, if you do variety, you're just le less likely to get recommended for anything, period. It's probably just gonna group me in Pokemon. That's pretty much all- that's pretty much what I'm expecting. 
I don't know how it's going to work, but, you know, as we all know, YouTube is known for their brilliant decisions for everything. Yeah. Yeah, less views. Essentially, it's going to reward you for just doing one thing over and over. <laughs> Even more than it already does. This won't kill me, but I'll kill it. Yeah, it does sound really silly. <laughs> we'll just have to see, I guess. This is exactly why I did I streamed on Twitch instead of YouTube, for sure. Okay, 25. Blitz and learn stomp. We don't gotta worry too much about that. I will take 61. Cause them some big stats. Dread again. Send out Blitzel again. Who comes up with that stuff? I don't know. Somebody who sits around an office trying to justify their paycheck, I guess. Yeah, there we go. This is fine. I want to lose this battle anyway, for the most part. Get enough damage out of this to at least get the... At least get the experience for some of these Pokémon. I'm sure things will be fine. Like, I got lots of videos planned. They'll do just fine. Alright, Chandelier's dead. Everybody's dead now, chat. At the very least, though, I kind of want to... Hang on. I at least want to get the experience for this kill, so let me just let Embor die here. Well, it's not- even if I beat the champion, the problem with that is, um... I have to si I have to s skip through the credits, and then I'm sent back to Pallet Down- or Pallet Town. It's just faster to lose to Lance. But I can still get some experience along the way here, as you can see. Axorus. Doubt can kill. Haxorus might take a bit to level up, but... Definitely not nearly as much as Hydreigon. Chat, what is Haxorus's evolution level at, uh, in vanilla? I don't think it'll be that bad, but we'll see. Haxorus might be, like, the last Pokémon that, um... Yeah, Haxorus might be, like, the last Pokémon that'll require the highest level. Assuming that Volibi and, uh, Rufflet aren't, like, um super high level. Normally 48. That's not bad at all. Okay. Oh, look! I get the experience for this kill. Nice. Assuming that level's been lowered. Hydragon. Send out Blitzel. End me. Take me out! To watch just hold its hands open, like, come at me. And it got killed for it. Alright, let's let Hydragon finish me off. I could probably finish you and Victory Road right quick. Yeah, oh yeah, I definitely can do that. Then we'll deposit Embor and we'll get something else. There we are. Nothing left to worry about. Quick attack. Get crunched, Zebra. Again, the levels are re the levels for evolution have been a bit reduced in this game. Hydragon was level 55 instead of 64. Alright, let's pop in Victory Road and get this last one taken care of. And more is done. The Watt's done. Keep removing stuff without replacing with anything. Oh yeah, that's YouTube. Welcome to the dream life. No 
almost never see Krokorok here. Alright, let's Chandelure do it. We just burn it with flamethrowers. Oh. Well, that's fine. Oh, like 10 short. Alright, let's get rid of this thing now. At least you don't gotta worry about sturdy. Oh, okay, self destruct. <clears throat> that won't do anything. Alright, Blitzel. Okay, good. I was worried it wasn't gonna evolve at that level. Taking, like, two Pokemon at a time. That sprite does not look very flattering. The neck especially looks... Ugh. Alright, chat, let's see what we got. Blitzel, 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 Blitzel. Where is it? I probably passed it. Didn't I? Ugh. Oh, there it is. They have moves like lightning when they run at full speed. It makes sound of thunder. All right, then. Okay, good enough. I don't know why this maze even needs to be there. It's so unnecessary. That's two mons taken care of. Um, maybe I should get Axew out. Let me just put Emmore here, then. Just get Axew done and out of the way, because... That might be one of the last ones as well. Just Samrot and, and uh, Fracture, or sorry, Haxorus. Will probably be a teensy bit annoying. Okay, Crustle, Durant, Reshiram, Timber, Axew, 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 Axew... Nope. Try Box 3. I don't remember when I got one. I think I caught it in the Safari Zone. Axew, 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 Axew... There it is. Larvesta, that's another one. Get that after. These two, we'll get them done. I, I'm assuming Larve- there's no way Larvesta evolves at its uh, normal level. I hope. I know, no one really likes PC storage in Gen 1 and 2, it's awkward. Should probably just buy some more full restores while I'm here. Always get just enough money. Make a save. Dex is at 125, chat. Can we possibly get that many Pokemon in this sitting? Who knows? It was the best they had back then. It was honestly pretty amazing that you can even, like, catch that many creatures to begin with. Yeah, I know there's, um... Nowadays, people have made, like, a storage system similar to Gen 3 and added it to the previous games, which is cool. I want to check that out sometime. Confusion time. Lorelai's the first one, so not too much to gain from her. Okay, Cryogonal. Send out the good old Axew chat. The Axew. Yeah, encounter a legendary and find out your PC box is full. And that's my first time encountering Mewtwo. Let confusion work its magic like usual. I 
I am begging you to stop. <laughs> Confusion! Are you serious? Oh, give me a- give me a break. Hang on. Let's do this now, because the game just wants to waste time today. Alright, now let's try this again. Send in Chandler and melt it. Oh, gimme it. Okay. You're darn right the flamethrower went through. He doesn't even give that much. But I had to give some to Hydragon, yeah. That's a, that's annoying. I wonder if Axew can also finish this off. Lowered its head. It's going for Skull Bash. Okay, yeah. Maybe at a higher level as, like, uh, Fracture, I might be able to, wa to take out Elamomola, but... Don't know. We'll just have to see. Oh, I didn't mean to use fly. Tap the button too fast, chat. Twenty-seven. I don't know if that's gonna get me fracture or not, though. Lorelei doesn't give that much. At least for now. Oh, I'm evolving stuff for the decks, yes. It's gotta be done. Because for some reason in Kanto, the Elite Four are literally the only trainers left on this entire, like, just region, country, or whatever. That will even give me the time of day. No one else will battle me. They're too scared, chat. They're terrified. They know my super powerful Pokemon will just destroy them. There really wasn't much in the way of endgame for Gen 1, was there? Like, there was the legendaries to find. But... That was really it. Wasn't that much to it. Excellent. Oh, I didn't kill it? All right, then. Okay, 28. I'm trying to learn Slash. You don't need that. Okay, a couple levels on you, but you're a dragon. You take a while anyway. All right, Bruno, let's do it. Bruno is pretty much free since his Pokemon, like, either can't or won't even try to hurt Chandler for me. And I can just crunch through everything Agatha does, except for the coffin when it uses Confuse Ray, and then minimize. About 25 Pokemon left. A little over that, actually, because the total is 156. And now, suddenly, it knows how to use Crunch. Nine hundred's not much to get, chat, but it's fine. Bruno used Throw. Okay. By the way, chat, the other day I was hearing that apparently people found a way to get to Darkrai and D Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Does anyone know if that's true? Yes. How do they do that? Because isn't it like Darkrai doesn't even spawn in if you clip out of bounds? I'm just gonna burn a full restore now. Yeah, this Bert here, or Ernie rather, can't hurt me at all. Damn, why can't I not kill things one hit today? What's going on with you, Chandler? You're higher level now. 
I'm just wondering what the trick what was found to get to Darkrai or make him spawn is. Because I don't recall, like, that being a thing. Because I'm pretty sure they had it so that, like, uh, Darkrai won't even spawn in the overworld without the key item. To prevent people specifically from glitching towards them. They didn't, like, do some menu weird menu glitch to make the item spawn in your inventory, did they? That'd be funny. Man, Chow. It's just gonna miss its, uh, high jump kick like usual. Video I saw a week ago, you can get there, but the invisible walls on the island won't let you actually on it anyway. Perhaps there's been a workaround since. Okay. So do people just... So they don't know... Didn't know if Darkrai actually spawned there or not? Because I know that's what they did for Platinum specifically. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Trying to cough here. Jeez. Sorry. Let me just, uh... There we go, the mute button decided to finally work so I could do a loud uh, throat clear. Anyways, as I was saying, in Platinum version, why can't I kill things? What is wrong with you, Chandler? <laughs> Jeez. Damn, what happened to the one shot? And because people found a way to glitch out of bounds in Diamond and Pearl, for Platinum version, they made it so that Darkrai wouldn't even spawn, unless you had the key item in your inventory. I assume that's what they did for this game. The remix. But I guess that's not the case? I'm not really sure. When it comes to the glitches for BDSP, I keep getting, like, mixed messages. And then I find out that something one person said just, like, literally isn't even true half the time. Ugh. It was possible to get Shaman before the event? No, they didn't patch it out. I did that last time I streamed it. Also, I accidentally sent out, uh... Accidentally sent out Hydragon for this. You can't... Yeah, no, I did that. I literally did it last stream. I glitched and I caught Shaman. You can still get to Shaman just fine. Yeah, I did it on the newest patch. Uh, music was weird there. That patch did not fix Shaman, no. <laughs> I spent like a good while doing it, but I, I got to Shaman. I saved in front of it. I saved in front of it. I was going to try and get like a shiny one if I can. Okay, Axew still didn't evolve. That's fine. Let's keep going through this. And old Duff was once tough and ha handsome. I'm not sure when the events are planned. I mean, they were planned for di original Diamond and Pearl, but they never released them. Only Platinum got Shaman and Darkrai only, too. Beat Dylan's record for resets on that? Maybe. Guess we'll have to see. I did not mean to send out Chandelure. I mismenued there. They got events planned all the way to 2023? Of course they do. Of course they do. Well, I guess I'm glitching out of bounds and catching it. I wonder, though, I wonder if catching Shaman or Darkrai early is gonna, like, lock you out of using Pokemon Home. That'd be a piss-off. I don't think they'd do that. Because, like, they're technically not legal, right? But then again, couldn't you have technically sent forward, um... Couldn't you have technically sent forward one from the original Diamond and Pearl by this point? Send it to you here. And hopefully Coffin goes away this time. Evade Rose. You could, yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, no. I hate this Pokemon. 
so much. Please stop. There you go. It stopped. Transfer anything to home right now. Well, BDSP doesn't have home connectivity yet, right? So, wait, so Pokemon Home and Bank considers Darkrai from Diamond and Pearl legal, even though the event was never released there? Because it was only released in Platinum through Mystery Gift. Okay, then. That's fine. You could also just change the time on the system if you needed to match the date of the Mystery Gift event. I guess, true. I mean, that also isn't really fair, though, since... What if a kid has their DS clock just, like, re like accidentally, uh, ba uh, not at the right date anyway? You technically can trade Dark Rai from Diamond and Pearl. And oh, great. She I got the random Agatha switch. So that ruined everything. Home and bank consider any of the DP mythicals legal if caught in-game from a cheated event item. Does that So that includes Arceus, then. Really? I didn't know that. Don't think they can patch the BDSP event Pokemon now for home. What exactly do you mean by that, though? Let me switch here. I'm gonna full restore this. That's cool. I know that, um, it was possible for the Colosseum Jirachi to be shiny, and apparently, like, uh, Bank didn't take that into account, so, uh, it was considered illegal if you did that. I think they since updated it, though. I don't know. I didn't really use Bank or that a lot. Well, that's cool, then. Okay. Jellicent. Let's do this again. Oh, I'm poisoned now. I got hit by smog. That's cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Does this mean that a uh, Hall of Origin Arceus from Platinum is also legal? I would assume so. Because literally, they never released the the Hall of Origin event literally anywhere. Okay, good. Battle over. Still no evolve. Why did you turn your head? Well, whatever. Okay, full restore. Thanks for subbing there. You hit two years. Isn't it, like, I believe that, like, there was data for Arceus in BDSP, but, like, a patch actually, like, removed the data, because it was, like, unfinished or something, and people were already, like, doing stuff with it. That stuff's just funny to me. Um, alright then. Looks like this was as much level as I'm getting from this. Now let's beat up Lance. Everyone's favorite pastime in Gen 1. Hard to catch dragons and rays, he says. Agatha looked towards uh, the top of the screen for some reason. I don't usually see, her, see that sprite from her. Okay. Uh, Dragon, work your magic. Beat up Lance for his lunch money. No, they just never released Arceus' event, like, event. It's in the data for every version of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. They just never released it officially. So the only way to do it was to, like, glitch the item in your inventory and, go, and then go do it. It's pretty silly. Alright, I may as well get level some levels for Dewat now, then. 
I, I never liked to vent only Pokemon. Like, just put them in the damn game and let me catch them. That's what I think. Why they plan an event and never release it? I don't know. Trying to understand what goes through the, the mind of people working at the Pokemon Company is, is a mystery you will just, like, never solve. I would assume that Arceus would be in Legends Arceus. If not, well, that might be, uh, <laughs> a problem. Hyper Beam. You don't need Hyper Beam. Even though it's Gen 1, I don't really want that. Okay. Oops, I sent out Axio for this. Keldeo being event only and then having lore with the three legendaries was silly. Yeah, they did put Celebi in the virtual console release of Crystal, which was cool. That was like the only official way to shiny hunt it, if I'm not mistaken. I do hope that one day we get more Virtual Console versions of Pokemon. Since, like, yeah, they made, like, the, the Gen 1 and 2 ones have connectivity with, um... Just have... Yeah, you could tr send Pokemon from Gen 1 to Pokebank, which was really cool. It'd be nice if you could just play, like, a original Gen 3 on Switch or something. Uh, I don't know if they do that, though, since, you know, Let's Go is a thing. They don't want to put Fire Red Leaf Green on there. <laughs> Haxorus. Imagine if they put, like, a jet, like Emerald version and Fire Red Leaf Green on Virtual Console. And... You could finally do all the De you could do the Deoxys event. You can go to Naval Rock. You can you can uh, go to Faraway Island. You can do everything that like no one ever was ever able to do. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it, 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 games like Stadium just e never gonna get re-released. All right, let's send you out. Get one more kill. Okay. Now let's finish this part off. We gotta keep going with Axio, I guess. That's just the rule. Gen 3 had some glitches. It wasn't that broken, though. Who knows, maybe they'll remake, like, Coliseum or something. I still think that could happen. Maybe. Who knows. Yeah! I didn't really like Battle Revolution, because it felt like there was nothing to really do in it. Alright, Axew. You worked your magic. You're almost there. I want to hope that, like, level 40 or something, I'll get Haxorus, but we'll have to see. I mean, Pokemon Snap came back out of nowhere this year. It was great. Mystery we also got a new Mystery Dungeon still not that long ago. That'd be great. <laughs> Play Battle Revolution on PC, that's right. <laughs> that's right. What am I doing? Can't fight with this. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Get out of there, little dragon friend. You're not supposed to be able to fight. You must battle now. you again. Send it out. Send it in. Let the little dragon friend just grow. If level... Hmm. 
get as much extra experience as I can, because I imagine the EXP curve will probably go... Oh, yeah, this again. Full Restore doesn't seem to fix confusion in Gen 1, so we'll just have to deal with it. All right. Send out the Axio. The Jubilife thing? Yeah, that's supposed to be the Wonder Trade thing when they patch it in. Whenever that comes out, who knows. Okay, Hydra gone for this part. I probably should just start using Hydra Gun against uh, Cryogonal, yeah. I don't know how the cute charm glitch really works, but I do know that people can do some shenanigans with it. I've heard it mentioned a lot. Okay, Chandler, what am I doing? Yeah, I think they stopped doing the GTS because it just straight up got broken. In fact, I'm pretty sure the 3DS games, people said that they just straight up... That you can just set up bots for it now, and people can just get, like, whatever Pokemon they want by sending out certain stuff. It's really weird. Uh... was it? I think last time I talked about this, someone mentioned that, um... For Gen 6, you, there was a bot where you could just trade him a chop and get, like, anything you wanted in return. And <laughs> you could just go do that right now, from what I understand. It's like Discord bots for it? That's so weird. Like, yeah, I think they- like, it's literally just broken now. <laughs> and super exploitable to set that up. There we go. How does that work exactly? Is it like a bot using like an emulator or something? That just, like, sets the game up a certain way to send it out. So you get, like, a legal Pokemon. Heavy quotation marks. Okay, Axew didn't level up enough. Gen 7's a mess. Trading Pokemon online, they're impossible to trade, and there are trades that break the game. Oh. Alright. That sounds like a complicated explanation. I don't fully understand. There's a bot to get a shiny ditto with six perfect IVs. Well then. But that's fun. If people already set something like that up for, uh... You know, they wouldn't be able to set that up for the new games, I, I would assume. I don't know, it's Pokemon. When a new Pokemon comes out, somebody sets up some shenanigans, for sure. That's life. Yeah, you'd want the Ditto to be foreign so you can get, like, the Masuda method odds. I sent out Hydreigon for this. What's wrong with me? A friend of mine had imported Japanese DP and is part of the reason why the GTS in Gen 4 had cheat detection. Level 1 Azelf was the fastest and possible trade to show off a shiny, so she and her friend would just hack in a bunch and get free crap. I'm not sure I fully understand, but cool. I hear like, yeah, I hear the raids in Gen 8 already kind of busted too. Because like everybody, just everybody already knows how to manipulate them into being perfect shiny, shinies. So every time you join one, you just, you would just get like a, sh a shiny one. Or at least pretty frequently, I guess. Not everybody knows, but... Alright, let me hit the right Pokemon to switch in this time.
It's basically 50-50 at this point. It really that bad? Damn. Maybe when I stream Shield soon, chat, which I'm probably gonna do that. I should try that out on the DLC and stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know that there were some... Oops. Damn it. I hit the wrong button. Oh, well, that's wasted. Yeah, I know those GTS trades that are just, you know, showing off a shiny legendary. Because <laughs> they when they ask for something impossible. Why do people do that? That's dumb. Is there, like, a something you can do when, as an exploit with that? I don't fully understand. Hmm. Sin of Chandelier. So, Japanese Diamond and Pearl didn't initially check to make sure the things you set were possible. So the Pokemon that asked... So the people that asked for level 1 is Elf were basically... were actually getting it. Oh. So you mean... What do you mean? Do you mean people were just cheating and... Cheating, like, uh, the level 1 is Elf into the game? To just trade for people who were just... Take people shinies, I guess? I don't know. I'm not sure I fully follow the logic here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, now I get ya. Ugh, had a cough there. Axios evolving! Hooray. Cause the Zelf is at the top of the list, cause it starts with A. Yeah. Job is done. Go face your next challenge. All right. 500. Nice. Okay. Oh, thanks for subbing there, friend. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Just trying to fix my throat at the moment. Let's check Fracture. 126. I'm just opting to get the hard Pokemon out of the way now, so we slowed down a bit. Uh, did I pass it? No. There it is. Their tusks can shatter rocks. Territory battles between Fracture can be intensely violent. 35. Well, let's see if we can get it. DNS shenanigans still work on the GTS for Gen 5, too, so that's fun. I thought they shut that down. But I guess, yeah, people found a workaround, didn't they? Probably, you probably could set something up for Gen 4 as well, I suppose. Never underestimate the lengths Pokemon fans will go to to make something stupid for a sprite recolor. Getting legit event Pokemon is annoying. <clears throat> yeah, DNS stuff is just you using the DS's Wi-Fi DNS settings to connect to a custom server. All right. Well, I meant, I meant, like, the official servers getting shut down, not the custom stuff. But it's a different color. You can have a green teddy. I know, it's rare. It's valuable. What's that noise? Just car going outside. It's still storming out, chat. Cozy storm day. I regularly forget Deancey is even a Pokemon. Oh boy, here comes confusion chat. And paralysis. I have to keep coughing here, jeez. 
Volcanion. I don't... I struggle to remember what that one even looks like. In fact, I can't remember what it looks like. All right, Hydragon, get in there. Do your best and win. Oh, no. The Switch chat, everything is ruined. Well, it's dead. That's something. Oh, I'm annoyed. Okay. At least Fracture's leveling up, chat. At least it's leveling up. That's great. Hmm. I'll use a full restore on Hydragon here in a second. Let me fix this up. Hmm. I was busy coughing with the mute button on, but it looks like I landed the hit anyway, because I forgot to go into the menu. That's whatever. Okay. Fracture, get in there. Alright, now full restore. I'm begging you, game. I'm begging you to win here. Oh, come on. Come on! Special fell. And that's why I'm not gonna kill it. Oh, never mind. Too strong. Okay, she didn't turn that time. Okay, chat. Can we get Fracture done today? We shall see. Hang on. Okay, looking good. Smash through this. Pardon me, I have to keep muting the mic to cough here. Jeez, I think I'm okay now. Hmm. Just trying to talk about the Pokemans while I do the most repetitive task in human history. This is fine. You can't hurt me. I want to get into making sprites. That'd be fun. I just haven't had, like, the time or anything for it. There you go. Send out the fracture. Archaeops is still stupid powerful right now. Even though Dragon Claw counts as special. Good enough. I find it funny how the Pokedex refers to Shaman as like like it's a common Pokemon. Like it's just common to see them running around flower beds, but no, there's like only just the one and it's mythical. Okay, Dread again. Um, I'll just keep going with Fracture. Mint Hedgehog is a way to put it. It is a cute little friend, chat. It is very wholesome. Are the legendary birds common? I mean, they have Galarian forms, so that means there's more than one. And then there's, like, the weird thing where, uh, like, the legendary beast, they have shiny forms that appeared in that one movie, right? Does that confirm that there's more than one of each of those, or what? It's very weird to think about. 
Axeress, all right. All right. Fracture time. Chandelier. Mew used to be common, but there's like none now. Is it like that? Chat, did they kill all the flowers and, the, and now the hedgehog is sad? No. No, 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 no. There's at least two Mew in the anime verse. Do we now? Wasn't Shiny Rayquaza in the anime just like a hologram? I'm not sure. I know the movies aren't like canon either, though. Yeah, that is a weird thing to do. How is it all so shiny? If... If there's only meant to be one, how can it be shiny? How would they be able to tell in-universe that it's even shiny? Those are the questions that keep eight-year-old me up at night. Alright, this is where I gotta die. The Mew from the Mewtwo saga, the Mew from the Lucario movie, and either can be one... Either could be the one in Journeys, or it could be a third. Whoa. I just know that there was, like, the movie with the shiny... Th with the three shiny beasts for some reason. Wasn't there, like, a shiny ho -Oh in a movie? I don't remember. Genesect is a clone. It could be... There could be many, yeah. Say the same thing about Mewtwo, I guess, but... Mewtwo is, like, a specific clone, though, right? Deoxys, I can understand. Like, there's literally multiple Deoxys in uh, its its own movie, I think. Like, the whole thing is that multiple of them come from space. I think it's... I mean, it's believable that there's the multiple golems. I guess. Okay. What? Yeah, wasn't there a red Genesect in a movie, too? I don't know. Let me see if I can make Fracture fight by itself. Wasn't the thing about the Lotties that, um, they're like the last two or something? I'm not sure. Let's run around. Dragon Claw. Oh, the Lotties died. Why, though? We killed them. Oh, that's gonna give nothing. We can still try. Oh, there's... Okay, that's a good one to find. Lotties are just found in pairs. The movie showed some at the end. See, I don't remember a lot of stuff about the Pokemon movies because... They're really just like, the Pokemon movies are just like the most mindless, like, f like, they're essentially just filler content in, like, uh, 90 minute form. I don't rem really remember all of them be being that special. <laughs> the movies basically just exist so that they can do something with the legendaries, right? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, those sweet, sweet dollars. That's probably, like, their main intention when they design those, like, Pokemon. They're like, hey, we need a Pokemon that won't appear in the game in any significant form until we, like, release it for an event later on that everyone's gonna miss. But it has to look cool in a movie. That's pretty much it. That That's, like, the extent of their existence. It's kind of a... kind of a downer when you think about it, huh? Quick, design them on for the movie. You know what I think it is? I think all the Pokemon movies feel like fanfics. It's like, hey, this is like, you know, you know, like, Ash and, and friends come across, like, the super, like, 
Hyper Omega Legendary, and they gotta save the world this one time in the middle of their adventure. Also, one of them's shiny for some reason. Yeah, they're literally fanfics, chat. They are all literally fanfiction. <laughs> the Latios Latios movie has a prologue cutout in English that explains a lot, and the West just has a bunch of unanswered questions. Oh, I didn't know that. Seventeen forty-eight. All right, let's just go back in since this will be faster. Fanfix. My name's Ricky. I'm gonna be a Pokemon trainer, but I'm starting my journey with a shiny Riolu who grows up to be a super cool shiny Lucario. Also, this is my best friend. They have a shiny Eevee because they are also super cool. We have to save the world from the evil team. Uh, 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 uh black hole. I don't know. I can't think of a stupid team name, chat. Can you? Shiny Eevee. <laughs> if you're a shiny Eevee, either A, you're in a fanfic, or B, you're in a ROM hack. <laughs> There's about a 1 in 8,000 chance that you're actually a legit one in the game. Team Smoke. Okay. More Fracture, let's go. Oopsie. I almost attacked with that one. Team Death. There you go. Thirty-nine. I want to hope that I can get Fracture's final form this trip. Team Murder. Oh no. There we go. I'll send out Hydreigon here. I wonder what cr solving crime is like in the Pokemon universe. I mean, we have we had like Detective Pikachu as a thing, but. Does that really count, chat? Like, did, did they really, like, dive into, like, you know, the murders of the Pokemon world in Detective Pikachu? I don't think they did. I'm sure there's probably some grimdark fan game or fanfic about solving murders in the Pokemon universe. It's probably exactly the way you think it is. <laughs> This sicko used his ghost type to dismember the the victim's body and scatter the and scatter the body parts throughout the city without being detected. We've got one sick son of a bitch in our in our city here. We gotta take him down. Flames. There we go. Fix and chat. And stop scrolling. Murder in the Pokemon universe. True crime. Chat, what would true crime be like in Pokemon? That'd be cool. <laughs> if I was in the Pokemon universe, I'd have a Teddy Ursa and we'd host our own true crime podcast. Wow, that would be like the best freaking day ever. What's the point of what's the point of like continuing this career path chat when it'll never be as cool as that? <laughs> I'm distracted. Who was I sending out? <laughs> Welcome back to the Teddy or some Teddy or some murder files <laughs> Giving you ideas now Chat I could rant about true crime stuff for like ever, but I don't bring it up a lot on stream Why? Because, like, it's weird to talk about Teddy Ursa's for half my life and then suddenly talk about, Hey guys, you want to hear about this, uh, murder case I've been l hearing about? <laughs> I have multiple stories about hearing about people getting dismembered and left in suitcases in the woods. But I feel like that may, that might just, uh, bring down the mood a little bit. 
after talking about hugging my Teddy Ursa plushie. Well, my Moomin plushie. I don't have a Teddy Ursa plushie yet. First-hand stories? No. No, 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 no. I don't know where you're getting that idea from. Teddy Ursa murder files would be the best YouTube content in the Pokemon universe. <laughs> You really think someone would do that? You talk about cute things, then talk about murder? <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's crazy talk, chat. No one, no one's d gonna would ever do something like that. That's why I can't be tolerated in real life, chat. <laughs> you think I'm the Moomin guy? No, I'm the guy that talks about horrifying things all the time, but has to wonder if I'm scaring you away. Any crimes for them to solve? Well, I'm more focused on the idea of having Teddy Ursa inside a recording studio with a microphone and headphones <laughs> casually going on about uh, murders and whatnot. Alright, socks coming out. Zenith Fracture. Man, my throat's a little bit sore today, but that's okay. That's okay. Teddy with a detective hat and trench coat. <laughs> You need at least three teddies to wear that trench coat. Uh, my brain forgot where I was going. And he just goes into the microphone and he's just like, Ursia, Teddy Ursia, Ursia. Just going on and on. Giving his thoughts. And they've gotta do, they gotta do that generic true crime stuff where it's just like, Hmm, years of investigations couldn't solve this cold case. Can you? Can you at home, dear viewer, by listening to me talk about it for 15 minutes? Why did I switch to Fracture again? What's wrong with me? Chat, you're making my brain run on autopilot. You're ruining the grind here. Ah, pardon me, I had a cough again. Three tennies in a trench coat. Yeah. Me and Xiao. Send no fracture, and this time I'll switch back to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just the most wholesome idea I've ever had. Just imagine in Teddy Ursa just doing the crime podcast is so cute. It'd be great, chat. One damage on that. Dizzy Punch. I hate how I can't kill every time here. Come on now. No one no one suspects the detective is actually three teddies in a trench coat. Never. Teddy or so with the mic just trying to entertain the list listeners. Little arms raised during suspenseful parts. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I actually, like, listen to a lot of, like, chat, I like true crime stuff. I like listening and watching to it while I work on stuff. Stuff like that is just really interesting to me, especially when, like, you hear, you, like, yeah, you hear about, like, uh, a cold case or something getting solved. I hate, though, the stuff that, like, really, I, I hate, like, the really sensationalized stuff, though. That stuff's just dumb. You know, you know the kind where they just, like, make up a bunch of details to make it sound more interesting? No one likes that stuff. I like ghost stories when they're not just obviously made up for Reddit karma. <laughs> there we go. Fracture is there. Didn't take much damage that time in that fight. I probably should have bought the full- I forgot to spend money before I came in here, didn't I? Forty. We got there. Well, time to keep going. I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Uh, 
That stuff's fun to listen to. Until you get- until you find something really disturbing that, like, keeps you up at night for a few nights. That's never fun. Uh, what am I doing? Hydroganga Crunch. I need a drink. Makes me think, chat, I should totally have, like, a Moomin co-host. Unfortunately, the Moomin plush cannot talk into the microphone. I could hold it up to the microphone and give it headphones, but it would not be able to contribute anything. Is it too shy? Yeah, he he's nervous. He's a little little too nervous to talk about to talk chat. Moomin shy. The Moomin can boop the mic sometimes, that's right. Send out the fracture. Webcam, but only for the Moomins. I feel like that would probably eventually get, like, a claim thing. Like, eventually, official Moomin company would just somehow be like, you're using Moomins too much. Do you ever hear Moomin talk to you? Do I? I can communicate with Moomin sometimes. He spreads the wholesome energy. Moomin cam in the corner. Nah. Nah, we don't need a Moomin Cam. That's too much extra work. I could just put a PNG of Moomin in the corner and, you, and that would satisfy all of you. After what happened with Toei, yeah, probably isn't a good idea. Oops. You know what, this is fine. I'll just crunch down on it. Moomin VTuber when we're easy to please. Well, that's right, you are. You're watching me run through the Elite Four 10,000 times to grind levels. <laughs> I can do a co-op stream with Moomin. That's right. I'll give it a controller and he'll do nothing and then we'll just be like, it's okay, take your time, Moomin. I'll have you know though, chat, Moomin is an absolute gamer when you let him try. It's almost like we like your personality or something. That's a lie! <laughs> oh no, I don't have a joke for that. I keep forgetting that she even has a goaler, because it just disappears as soon as she sends it out. Send out the fracture. I'm waiting for him, he's doing his best. Oh, it'd be nice. <laughs> it is nice to have a wholesome plushy friend. That's why you at home need a plushy chat. Alright, I'm already out. Just double checking that, because I keep getting distracted. It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. Perfect way to s spend a stormy day, chat. Watching video games, playing video games, and you got a plushy on the side for moral support. You're running out of shelf space? I'm running out of shelf space for my books. My manga and comic collection is huge. One of these days, I'll take a picture of it. There we go. You have a Mewtwo plush? What does a Mewtwo plush look like? Just look like a little shibi Mewtwo? Okay. Not shibi. Oops. Well, I walked up to him. They're virtually indestructible. That's what he thinks. Okay, you said earlier, chat, it was 48. Assuming they still lowered it. We'll see. Anyways, I'm intentionally losing this fight here. You got the shiny Mega Gardevoir plush. They make that too? I imagine they don't really make the Mega Evolution plushies anymore, though. There we go. There's a life-size Lucario for sale now from Pokemon Center. It's awesome, but it's like $400. They have weird promo pictures of it, though, like at the table and helping with the... I seen that one! I seen that on Twitter! 
Yeah, the weird, the weird like life-size Lucario. And they just took pictures of it like, like it's just doing random household tasks. It's so funny. I know that the Teddy Ursa plush on Pokemon Center has a picture of, uh, of it tucked into bed, and it's super wholesome, and I want one. It's so cute, chat. You can get the life-size Mareep there, too, from the meme. Life-size Teddy Ursa. Life-size Teddy Ursa wouldn't be that huge. I don't think. It would be very cute. I'd get it. I'd take pictures of it in front of the microphone and say he's, he's starting the podcast. Honey Bear isn't that large. Ursa Ring is huge. Let's kill with Nightshade. I did not kill with Nightshade. This will probably kill me. How many life-size Pokemon plushies do they make? The answer is probably too many. Or not enough. Can you select two feet? I don't think life-size Waylord is happening anytime soon. I get the feeling that might be a little uh, too expensive to make. And then no one would, would uh, buy it. Life-size Joltik. <laughs> that certainly wouldn't take very much to make, would it? Alright, letting myself die here. Because it's fine, chat. How about a critical hit and I get the EXP? Nope. There's new Neopets flushies? I don't remember, like, Neopets is so damn old at this point. How close are you here? 245. <laughs> Has Neopets actually done anything in, like, the past decade? Oopsie. I wonder if I can find Swoobat. No, that's the exit there. What am I saying? NFTs. Oh, yep. Yeah, screw them, then. They can go... They, I don't... They can stay uh, forgotten and irrelevant, then. Fracture's cool. I'll beat that up. Did Neopets use Flash? I don't know. I didn't use it since, like, elementary school. Alright, no level up. Now, how close do you need to be to get... Level 43. 5,076. Oh, there's a fan-made classic recreation of 2006 Neopets. Can I adopt a Neopet that's been abandoned for 10,000 years? <laughs> Neopets were like discount Pokemon that they didn't really do much with. I think like they had a card game, they had like uh they had quite a few things, but like it never it just never really took off. There's a PS2 game. Plushies at McDonald's. Ah, uh, yes. Plushies from McDonald's. Smells salty like the fries. Dragon Claw! Damn. If only I could just consistently run into the large ones, that'd be better. 
It sucks that this is the best, like, highest level wild Pokemon I can find now. Okay, Rock and Roll is not going to give me very much. I'm going to go back in. I was hoping that maybe just getting a quick level up would be enough. Back to the grind we go. I ha It doesn't look like we're going to finish today, chat. <laughs> we wouldn't be like this. It, remember, no one else in Kanto will battle me. This is the Gen 1 experience of completing the decks. I don't even remember the names of the Neopet mini games. I remember like virtually nothing except like the name was around, but no one really like cared that much, so to speak. All right, Lorelai, let's take you out again and again and again. Cerulean Cave is reduced levels in this mode, or hack. It's weaker than the Victory Road. There's no reason to go there. Even Super Rod in this game doesn't fish up like 40, 50 Pokemon levels. What am I doing? Okay. Send out the Fracture. High level fishing was a thing in Gen 3. Alright. I thought Gen 2 let, let you fish up higher levels, though. I keep going to Chandelure for Crygon every time. That's right. No problems this time. Alamomomomola. We're getting there. Uh, Hydragon. My brain can't remember now. Oh, I thought I had five crunches left for a second. I was very concerned. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. The XP all in this game is busted and worthless, sadly. Can't do much with this. Just level up, chat. Just level up the endless grind to complete the Pokedex. Oak didn't account that no one in, in the region would battle you anymore. really is a bit of a design flaw when only the final boss is the one you can fight over and over and over in your, uh... <laughs> in your monster training game. Once they saw how much it took off, though, they realized they had to change a bunch, a bunch of things, I guess. Breeding was such a huge deal in Gen 2. It really was one of the best ideas they came up with. Swords Dance. Nah, you don't need that. We're almost there. Just keep going, keep pushing, little friend. Just don't get iced over here. Otherwise, the Teddy Earth is gonna be talking about you on its next podcast. There's a bunch of trainers you can refight with the Poke Gear. No one really used that, but the fact that the option was there was uh, a lot more useful. There we go. How dare you. Well, 
Well, just glitching in or cheating in rare candies would kind of defeat the whole point. I might as well just play the credits on YouTube and say I'm done. Hoo-ha! Here he comes. All right, time to go. X defend. Fly is not an instant killer for this thing, because no stab. And if I show the credits, I get claimed. That's right. <laughs> That's the best part. Credits warp? No, no. On stream, we call that uh, copyright claim warp. That's the best part. It's so weird how, like, th the like the difference in quality between sock and throw for their sprites is so funny to me. It's like speed running, but better. Lowered its head, it can't do anything. It doesn't affect Chandelure. Send out the sock. Oh, you're doing your best, sock. R running to chase me to get off your lawn. Your hand doesn't quite look right. Your right... Yeah, your... No, you're sorry. Your left arm does not look okay at all. I don't think move scrolling time is uh, the issue here. Oh, we just gotta level up them, you know, the friends. Okay, hang on. Seventh fracture. YouTube algorithm bad. Oh, courses. We've already been over that. We've been over that. Our good old friend, Mr. Algorithm, is essentially just like. Uh, just imagine like a lawn gnome coming to life and just jumping around, pulling a bunch of random levers, and things are exploding in the background. And that is the YouTube algorithm. Remember, chat, they're gonna gr they're gonna start grouping creators by themes. <laughs> I hope that doesn't like. I hope they like do something about that. That's not gonna work well at all. I guarantee you it's probably just gonna group me as Pokemon, <laughs> then like, then recommend no other videos. The True Crime Teddy Ursa podcast will drown, chat. <laughs> there we go. What if I just did that, like, ser completely seriously? Just as like a complete, like, in-universe, like, live-action roleplay thing. Just make up a bunch of like crimes in the Pokemon universe and complete and I just get like uh somebody on the side with like the deepest voice possible to do Teddy Ursa. Oh I burned, okay. Today on the Teddy Ursa murder files. Local person drowns on lake after getting soft locked in the middle of it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Do it. That would take quite a lot of setup and commitment. Forty-four. How close are you? It's looking like forty-eight is gonna be what we're getting out of this, so let's go for it. Ooh, I need to stretch slightly. Speaking of teddy bears and stretching chat. There we go. I wouldn't even know where to begin, chat. I don't even know how to start inventing crimes in the Pokemon universe. I'd essentially just take a bunch of true crime stuff I already know, and then just, like, change a bunch of details to make it fit.
This wouldn't have happened if they just put a boat on Cinnabar Island. Maybe people wouldn't be getting stuck there forever. <laughs> I should just, should just like, get Gomi to draw, like, a cute little icon of Teddy or so with the headphone, headphones and microphone. I don't need to attack that. And here comes the glare. Oh boy. Oh boy, here it comes. Here it comes. There you go, we hit him. Please, one hit kill. There you go, one hit kill. Okay, 1,000. And then we got here. Hydra gone. There we go. Mr. Briny didn't disappear forever. He becomes like captain of uh, that ship after you beat the league. He doesn't just disappear from home. I don't know what you're talking about. I know Mr. Briny. I know Mr. Briny is actually old friends with uh, Drake of the Elite Four, though. Pokemon Masters mentions that. The SS title. Yeah. Send out the Hydreigon. The dragon. It can't hurt me. That did a lot. That did too much, in fact. Fixing my headphones here. Drake should put on a shirt. <laughs> yeah, he just does have that coat after being shirtless, doesn't he? No one ever questions him about it. What kind of sea captain do you think Drake was? Like, what kind of boat do you think he went on? Fishing boat? Cargo transport? Because the man trains freaking dragons and is the toughest member of the Elite Four. Man probably has some crazy sea stories. I don't think he was a pirate, nah. Navy, perhaps? What was Blaine before he became, like, a, a gym leader? Wasn't he a scientist, or was that just like the manga or something? Damn it, still no evo evolution. Well, we're almost there. Let's burn another full restore. I heard about you. Mash the button, beat the friends, succeed in life, chat. What's he got? We know what he got, because we've beaten him up several times already. side of Fracture still looks like a butt, as you can see. There we go. Make sure the stream's running fine. I wonder if the team's finally strong enough to just take out 
And just take out Archeops would be nice. Oops. Or just Lance in general. But I still have to mute on the champion every time. Oh, decisions, decisions. Archeops still does too damn much for a non-dragon type using special damage. But for some reason, my one was weak as hell and just died in one hit to everything. Okay. Dread again. It's fine. Sendo Fracture. I wonder if I could finally fit it, finish it in Victory Road when we're done here. I'd like to hope so. Ah. Fracture such pain, chat. Misty dies in one hit. Good, good, good. Probably had bad special and defense D DBs. Yeah, probably. Let's get the hacks or a CXP. Maybe I'll finish this one. Hang on. Let's do this. I'll have to mute the champion music, but I can get in there. Just to get that high level experience for my friend here. And possibly get... I could just give the high level experience to Dewat, because I can't finish the champion battle, unlikely. So I won't get the evolution if I do get high enough level. Just kill. Good, 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 good. My Hydragon's tougher. I'm actually level 64 now, so I'm legit- I'm a legit Hydragon. He's a cheating one. All this grinding, and I'm still- you can see how high level their Pokémon are normally, yeah. Pretty rude how powerful they are. Can I one-shot? Almost. Oh, he's got Hyper Potion, that's right. Come on, dragons, you try your best. Finish him. There you go. 46. Is that gonna be enough? I could just speed through credits while hiding the screen, yeah. Alright, let's just get the champion EXP then. I should revive Dewat as well. Because he is the highest level person in the entire region, so... Get it done faster. It's, it's looking like Fracture is still 48 for evolution. Alright, let's go get it done. Alright, chat, no music for you. Thank you. Thanks, YouTube, for that. For the fifth time today. Whoopsie, we click that. Alright, can't walk around you through this cutscene. No, no, no. No BDSP freaking menu shenanigans here. You know what that means? I'll tell you, I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Man, those are some sick tunes right now. Can you hear that, chat? Oh, wait, no, you can't. This is this is another crime for the Teddy Bear Cop podcast, chat. Teddy headbanging right now, that's right. Poor, poor chat. Having to listen in silence. <laughs> Can't hear these sweet jam and teddy tunes. Okay, that's a lot. 
Zormork. Hydragon can kill that easily. Uh, yeah, just send a fracture again. Listen in silence. Use Dragon Claw on it. The normal Pokemon experience. The silence is deafening. Yo, you can't hear that sweet screech sound effect. By the way, yeah, if you didn't know, uh... The, even though I have animations turned off, for whatever reason, in Gen 1, the champion battle forces them to be on. I don't think, I don't know why, but it's just a thing that it does, and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Very strange. I wonder if, like, I don't know, maybe they wanted the final battle to uh, look more cinematic, but it's like, I don't know. Seems like a very weird thing. Weird thing to force, forcibly implement. Be consistent game, that's right. Chandelier for this. I can hide the game too, chat. In fact, there, there could be no stream at all. I could just like put the, the Teddy Ursa emote or Teddy Ursa gif up front. And we can pretend that I'm playing a game when there's nothing there at all. That's a lot to get. Caracosta. Come on out, Fracture. Oh, he's mad at me. Angry Turtle. Hydragon. Yeah, it seems unneeded when the player intentionally turned off the animations already. It's very strange. The Skull Bash did nothing to me. Oh, very least chat, remember, once we get, once we do another one of these Pokedex playthroughs, um, we will never have a grind as bad as this again at the end. <laughs> I've really tried to do as much as I could outside the game, but man, you're not left with a lot of options at that. Podcast with Teddy Ursa and friends. The Teddy Ursa murder files. Today, on the coast of Cinnabar Island, a suitcase washed up on the beach. Inside were the remains of, of some unknown person. Teddy Ursa, what's your comment on this? He just has his paw in his mouth. And he's just, like, eating honey. Just imagine that. Imagine that right now, chat. He just wants more honey and donuts. He doesn't care. He can't talk. Now, what's this last level looking like? 5,900, okay. Let's hit him here. Teddy, you're speaking. He's just making plushy noises. Unfortunate. Looks like he might just finish me. Might be easier to just let him do that. We'll see. Teddy making growling noises and cooing noises would be super adorable. <laughs> he just imagine he just gets up out of the chair so we can go look for more honey in the kitchen. That would be so freaking cute. <laughs> but the joke would overstay its welcome. Oh, looks like I'm gonna win. Oh, I didn't kill it. I did play Callous Crystal, but I didn't, like, grind... I didn't, like, do a Pokedex playthrough of that. And there's an entire other region to go through with that, so you can take your time. High-level mons and places to go there. Alright, chat. Now I gotta just, like, speed up through this part so we can get back to the game. Hang on, let me put the Teddy screen up. There's the Teddy screen! Look at that, chat. There he is. He's just eating some noodles before he gets back to the murder files. Th 
There we go, chat. You wanna hear the game again? You can hear the game again. Boop. He's having some noodles. Everyone's fainted. We're back to Palatown. And Fracture is... 4,000. Alright, let's go to Victory Road and finish off this brat. He's having a little snack, chat. Teddy gonna get the controller sticky with honey paws. Yes, he is. Do you know how expensive controllers are nowadays? That little brat... I'm taking that out of his paycheck. He gets nothing. It's all gonna be spent on him replacing equipment and more honey. There we go. I don't think those are honey noodles, no. I don't think honey noodles is a thing. Is it? Would that taste good or bad? I can't- I don't know what food anymore. Not quite. Well, I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Chat, does anyone know if honey noodles are real? Now I'm hungry. Talking to me about food. Honey butter is a thing. Yeah, it's real. Damn, maybe I should look that up. Make my own honey noodles. Just for the sake of Teddy Ursa, Teddy Ursa joke. Well, honey garlic noodles, I guess, yeah. Honey garlic's a thing. I need to learn how to make some more variety of noodles, chat. I like cooking, but I don't really have much time for it. I know how to make noodles, like ramen and stuff, it's good. But I kind of want to, like, learn how to, like, make, like, some more variations. We get in there. We get in there. We get in there. We get in food. We get in food. We in the mood for good food, chat. Wild Rock and Rolla appeared. I need to go back and heal. Heal, chat. Cooking is fine, but the time it takes out of your day, yeah. Sometimes you just don't have the time. I need that time to do to sit around doing nothing, contemplating about how I could be using my time more effectively. I can't do that when I'm cooking, chat. <laughs> now I'm hungry. What am I gonna eat? Oh, I think I got some leftover chicken. I had chicken and rice last night. Um, I had, like, chicken with, like, a... Ma cooked in, like, a tandoori sauce. It was actually really good. And I put it on some rice. Really good thing to eat when you're starving at the end of the day. Excellent. Love cooking, hate cleaning up. Yeah, that that's how I feel about baking, especially. When I bake cookies, chat... The cleanup is like the the main thing that makes me just not want to not want to make cookies. Finish with Dragon Rage. Oh no. Oh, it exploded. Creator of this and Kalos Crystal is doing that black and white 3 ROM hack, are they? Okay. Crocodile? <clears throat> Sorry, Crocorock. It'd probably kill me with um, Earthquake now, so let me do this. Okay, Mudshot here. No worries. How much more we got? 
1286. Damn it. Come on now. We're almost there. Get Haxorus done and out of the way. Okay, maybe I can kill this one hit. Like to hope so. Oh, no. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Good. Almost there. I just gotta make like one more switch. <clears throat> oh, look, Dino. Yeah, no Lucky Egg in Gen 1. No held items in this either. There we go. Finally! Dang. I completely forgot about the second dragon of Gen 5 I had to raise. Alright. Now let's go to the bottom. Oops, I passed it, didn't I? Axorus. Their tusks will stay sharp even if used to cut steel beams. These Pokemon are cased in hard armor. Alright, nice. Now that we got that done, we can focus on raising other Mons again. Ugh. That's still quite a bit. We're definitely not finishing this today, like I maybe. No, there's no chance. We gotta get it done. This just be a little thing I do to unwind at the end of the streams, then. <laughs> the Teddy Ursa podcast is we beat the Elite Four over and over. <clears throat> wow, and my throat dies over and over. That's also cool. Emolga, Lipar, Daramaka. This is one I haven't started getting. No choke, please, I know. One level on them would probably do it. <laughs> Chat, what levels does this thing evolve normally? Hmm. The gears I'm using. I need to evolve it twice. No, I need, no, I want to do this legit chat because hang on. I mentioned potentially making a video going over what it's like to complete a dex in like one of these hacks and Wait, did it for forcefully turn the animations still on? I have to turn them off again? Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. 38 and 49 normally. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. I subject myself through this grind for a video chat. It's fine. For the videos. For the moments. Tiny gears. I'm gonna stand up and stretch. Let me do that. Ugh, here we go. I must suffer through the grind so I can complain about it properly. That's the rule. What am I doing? Send a thing. Uh, I keep don't sending... I should be sending Hydreigon out to deal with Crygonal, but I never do that. Dragon Claw space off. Remember, chat, you're here to watch me uh, get footage. That's the rules. Whoops. 
that you're here for the live experience of watching me suffer. When I could be listening to a podcast right now, chat. Do you realize how, how nice that would be? Supersonic. I could be listening to the Teddy Ursa Murder Files. That's the most interesting one out there. Bear tick. Murder Files! Yes. I am the podcast now, that's right. I need to fix my headphones. My hair is popping around here. We are here to see Teddy Ursa eat the noodles. You're here for the break screen. You're making me hungry though, chat. <laughs> when I'm done today. Hmm, I just realized though, I've been going two hours, but it's only been three hours for a total stream because I finished Resident Evil 4 pretty quickly. Uh, maybe I should do something after this. I'm not sure though. Why did I switch in like that? What the hell's wrong with me? I got distracted. Hang on, I gotta revive it now. Oh, I only have two full restores. That's fine, I'll just intentionally die to Lance and buy more. Okay, then. Melt the ice cream. Destroy the ice cream. Now, what levels were the gears again for this? 38 and 49. Wow. Wow! I d they didn't even lower for this. Okay, then. Half the playthrough is playing like this. Mm. Well, we passed the two-hour mark, so we're at a good stoppish stopping point soon. About after this run through the Elite Four. I gotta get them footage, chat. <clears throat> Give you some food now, anyway. That's fine. Let me see. Flames. Throw, throw, throw. More like throw the match, am I right, chat? Got him. How many times do I gotta do this, Bruno, before you learn to just let me win? The funny part is, they're all stuck here right now. No one else in Kanto will battle them, because they can't leave their rooms. What am I doing? I'm gonna switch it again. Ever. They're eternally stuck at this unless they go battle wild Pokemon, but they can't because they're not here. If he let me win, I can't get experience. I mean, that's also true. Give DeWant some experience too, I guess. This is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> this is going to take quite a while. I thought I may be able to make it go slightly faster, but no. <laughs> this is as fast as it gets. This is Unova Red's wild ride, chat. Duwaku level 21. Alternatively, chat, since Dylan's gonna be streaming soon anyway, I might just, like, uh, wrap it up early, and then tomorrow I can just do a long stream. Because I started really late today because I slept late. It might be better to do like that. Then I can take Monday off and stuff. Long tomorrow. Wholesome day. Wholesome stream. I also really wanted to stream today because I wanted to make sure that the internet was working fine again. Because last time I streamed, Twitch had some... Just had like a lot of weird issues going on. 
it just kept i was just, like dropping tons of frames and i think that's something to do with like their servers like uh going down the day before or something all right send it to what send out chandelier we burn them we set them on fire we make them mad we get rid of you it doesn't affect chandelier I wonder if I can even get one evolution out of this today. <laughs> Let's see, I've got Haxorus and Embor from today. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's annoying because I can't train, I can't like let the Pokemon I'm training do the fighting themselves because they're just too underpowered. Why, how could I lose? All right, gear's still not leveled up. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. The animations are turned back on, you're right. This is just forced to turn them back on for that one battle. It just turns them back on in general. Okay, Hydreigon's there. Long tomorrow. Probably just start a valley and some something else. But for now, let us attack the friends. Bite down on ghosts, because that's this that's just their weakness for whatever reason. Okay. Swap. Oh, I'm burned. Can't get paralyzed now. So who cares? Does Burn have the attack reduction in Gen 1? I don't even remember. You know, I've asked this before, I'm sure, but I just don't remember. Yanova, man. They are, uh, annoyingly leveled Pokemon, that's for sure. Okay, Evasion Rose. Yeah, I don't even have any- I don't have, like, any place left to explore in Kanto. There's, like, I- I've been everywhere. I caught all the legendaries and everything. Oh, uh, yep, there we go. Burn is actually ruining me. So I'll have to go with Dragon Claw. Because it counts as special. How many are left? Ah, uh, I'm at, like, 127, 28 out of, um... 156, so... Quite a bit! There's flashing effects in Stardew Valley. Turn them off, right? I hope so. Yes, oh, it is in the graphics menu, okay. I'll uh, remember to do that, then. Works for me. Alright, now here we go. Full restore. I'll let myself lose to Lance, it's fine. <clears throat> Pardon me. And now I'm confused. I remember you having confuse confusion attack, though. Hmm, okay. Oh, not this again. It is, that is something I wanna turn off, okay. I didn't realize that was a thing in that game. But I can turn it off as long as I got the menu option, yeah. Having to go as high level as freaking Haxorus, but that's how it be sometimes. Okay, uh... We're here for the footage. It gotta be done. Hydragon is my best friend in this playthrough. It is so powerful, and I love it. It's basically the strongest damn thing in the entire game, though. Okay, Chandelier, final one. So we're fine. Oh, 
Okay, there's storms with lightning effects. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn I'll turn that off tomorrow. I haven't seen any flashing effects when I started playing, but if there's an option for it, yeah, it'll work. Man, I can't even get the the first evolution of the gear. It, it's starting to feel like they didn't lower the levels at all, or at least not very much. Some of them were lowered, but it's not really feeling. I'm not really feeling the effects of this. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and lose this battle. Last battle for now, and then we'll call it a stream chat. It was pretty productive. Hmm. It is unfortunate, though, how, like, the end here can be a bit repetitive for what I wanted to do with this game, but... This is the experience I need to see. I need to experience it so I can complain about it properly. That's the video rule. Dragon Claw. Can I hit 66 yet? Progress is progress. Moomins are Moomins, Teddies are Teddies. All the constants of the universe. All right, let's do this. I'll let him take this out. Maybe I can at least kill Dewat, but we'll find. No, no, sorry, Archaeops. We'll see. Yeah, Crunch. Weird how he goes for Crunch over Rock Slide. The AI shouldn't be doing that. Oh, now it does. All right. Good, good. At least a big chunk of change for Dewat, please. Good, good, good. Only a thousand for that, jeez. Yeah, about 30 or uh, around 30-ish entries, yeah. It's gonna be a bit, but we need the experience. Come at me, says Dewat. Good place to wrap this up here, though, because I pretty much used up my energy for this for the day. Tomorrow, long stream chat. Relaxing Stardew and more video games. I gotta work on some other things tonight for sure, though. Okay, another thousand is nice. Haxorus. Alright, finish me off, Haxorus. Stardew is very fun. I am looking forward to more of that. Farming games are wholesome and relaxing. Yeah, so kill. And that's okay. Now finish me off. Yeah, hyper beamed. And now before I forget, since I just lost half my money because I forgot to spend it, probably just should buy some uh, full restores right now. There we go. Just enough for eight of them. All right, chat. We're gonna go ahead and call the stream today. So, we made some progress, but yeah, 29. Damn, this grind at the end is a lot more brutal than I thought it'd be. It really is showing why specifically the high-level evolutions of Unova and Kanto are kind of a problem without the Versus Seeker and stuff, or other mechanics to go alongside that, but that's something I can just talk about in the video for. Y'all love when I do repetitive stuff for a video, so you're, you, you'll love me streaming more of it. But it's okay. Hang on. Anyways, it was fun to stream today. Uh, again, I slept in late. Wasn't sure if I was gonna, but I feel pretty good. Hmm. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here now for the YouTube audience. Have a good night. Bye-bye.